<laughs> Maybe a couple times. Anyway, um, I am back and um, got a new plan. I'm a man with a plan. Plan with a man. Um, I am going to be starting Body for Life by Bill Phillips. Um, I've done it before. It's actually the most um, sensible, um, for me, it's the most sensible diet plan. Um, it's, you know, just making sure you have certain portions of certain things, um, a portion of protein, portion of carbs, portion of vegetables on your plate. Um, it gives you like one off day a week so that you can kind of, you know, if you're craving something specific, you just go ahead and do it. Um, focuses around um, training the whole body so you have an upper day a cardio day, a lower day, cardio day, upper day, cardio day, and then I think you have off like a day or so. And then just the next week it's two leg days instead of two upper body days or two lower body days instead of upper body days. So um, I'm going to go back and do this because I definitely feel like I, even when I was in shape before, other than when I did that P90X for the month, um, I was lacking, especially in my upper body. I even noticed when I run, my arms get fatigued from pumping. Um, I just, my arms get tired. So I'm like just shaking my arms out and stuff like that. So um, I think this is just the most logical, sensible, sensible plan that I can do. So I'm going to go back and go ahead and do, go through this. Spend. I'm going to try to do a lot of the stuff at home. I just like working out at home. It's just easier. I do have the Y membership. I may start throwing the pool in there. Um, now that the winter's coming, or not the winter, but the fall is coming, the kids are going back to school, I have more time to get over to the gym and take care of that. So I'm kind of excited about, you know, going through and getting to the gym. Um, I went through the first part of the book. I'm trying to read the whole thing for this weekend. I'm starting this up on Monday. Um, so Monday will be my first day of being actually on the diet. That's uh, the startup. But I went through, and there's questions as you go through the book. So I'm going to go through the couple questions that I had that were in the book and answer them. Um, I already did it on a um, document in Google Docs. Um, so I'm just going to go through them. And here it goes. So have you made the decision? 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 <laughs> have you made the decision to change? Yes. I made this decision to change a while. It's just actually. Following through has been my problem. Um, what are the what are your reasons for making the decision to change? I am tired of failing, giving up, and not completing this part of my life. Um, this is something that I keep struggling with, keep going through, keep just battling, and I'm just tired of failing at it. So I want to succeed finally with this. Um, how do you feel deep inside? Well. Uh, I put, I'm angry with myself for falling back into this sick way of life. I do not know why I can't do it. I want to feel good about myself. So I've just been feeling miserable. I'm pissed off that I keep falling back into this, you know, just bad, awful habits. Um, next question. How do you really feel about yourself? Well, I put sick explanation point. Sick of how I look, sick of how I feel, sick of what I eat, sick of quitting time after time, and sick of failing. Just overall, I'm just sick of it. Um, next question is, are you confident, energetic, and strong? I could definitely use more confidence. I lack confidence um, to be forward about my feelings and what I'm able to do. Um, I just kind of just sit back in the background. I don't come forward. I'm not... Even though there's like things that I know I can do and you know can help, um, I kind of just sit back. If someone asks me for help, I'm sure I'm definitely there. I'm always some I'm someone who you can count on to help you. But you have to ask me. I'm not gonna. I don't know. Sometimes I'll offer up help, but and and it's been crazy. Like with church, I wanna. I definitely want to be involved more. Um, but just my life has been just a whirlwind recently, so it's been very hard. To, you know, I got three kids, I'm working all the time, we got a new house, there's a lot of work to do around the house. So it's been difficult. I wish I had more time to do all the things with the church and everything. I really, really um, enjoy the people there um, and the community and the togetherness that we have. But it's just been not as easy for me to do. Um, 
energetic. I absolutely have no energy recently. Uh, probably over the last year and a half, I've had really just no energy. Um, ever since I stopped the running daily when I got that pretty bad case of shin splints, when I stopped running, I felt like my energy level has kind of just deteriorated between that and then my wife getting pregnant and just going through that and just it just was falling into the pit of crappy eating and stuff um, has been a bummer. Um, and then uh, do I feel strong? Um, I don't feel weak. I just yeah, I put I don't feel weak. I feel lazy. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm not strong. I don't think I um, am weak. I don't think I'm just floppy, but I, I definitely have improvement areas that I need, but I just feel lazy, overall lazy. Um, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't feel that way, but I definitely do. I feel like I should be doing more and maybe it's, maybe it's not that I'm not doing a lot. It's just that I'm not focusing in the areas that I should. Um, that may be where I'm at. Um, do you wonder if you're on the right path? Um, well, I absolutely know I'm not on the right path because I'm not where I want to be. Um, I'm not where I want to be body-wise. I'm sorry about the glare on my glasses. I'm just noticing it. Um, so that's, you know, part of this journey is just trying to get myself back in the right direction moving forward. Okay. Um, what are the pros and cons of continuing in the direction you are going? I put, if you, if I continue on the path, I am going, I will continue to gain weight. I will likely become more depressed and even lazier, completing less and less until I am sick and unable to function. Um, and probably closer to death. Um, and that, I put that, that that comment actually scares me a little bit. Um, I'm only 34, I don't want to die. I don't want to get close to death. It's, I'm not at the point where I should even be thinking about it. Um, I don't want my stupidity to be the cause of my death. I want God to decide when I sh should join him. Um, I essentially am slowly committing suicide, depressingly eating myself to death. That's what I put here. And that's kind of how I feel. I just really feel like I'm just, I don't know, I'm in a funk. And I just haven't had this the spark that I want to look for. But I'm just slowly getting it back. Like, I know what I want to do. I know what I need to do. I just have to start doing it. I need to start making the steps. I need to step forward and quit just being a lazy ass. Oh, sorry for the word. Beep. Um, what are the five most important specific accomplishments you need to make in the next 12 weeks uh, for me to be pleased with my progress uh, uh, with the progress of my body. Yeah, so it is a, tw it's a, it's, it's based off of a 12 week program. So, um, you know, Monday start week one, day one. Um, and for my 12 weeks, this is what I would like to be at. Um, I want to be able to run five miles without stopping. I would like to, like I was able to do a year ago in around 10 minute mile pace. That's where I would like to be. Um, and if I get there, I'd be really, really happy. Um, I want my weight to be lower than 215. The lower, the better. Um, I want my stomach to flatten out. I don't want to have the bulge anymore. Uh, I want to end my cravings, especially in the evening for junky foods. Um, if I can get over... If I, if I can conquer that craving thing that I have at night, uh, I think I'd be better off. Um, I think another part of this program... And I have to read through it again. I've done so many different diets, but I'm pretty sure this is a program where you eat like six meals a day. So um, doing that should allow me to have something a little bit more after dinner to kind of settle those cravings and knock them out of my, out of the, you know, knock them away. So, uh, and um, number five, I want to inspire myself to inspire others. Um, I love the reaction when I was running before um, all the miles and all, I all the weight I lost. And I love the reaction that people, you know, had for the success that I had. Um, so I want to get back into that mode. I want to get back to where my success kind of just counteracts and makes you guys successful and makes my family successful and everybody in my life. I want them to see, hey, look, that fat guy did it. Um, so I just want to get back to that point. That's where I'm at with that. And the last question that I got to in the book, um, what changes in your body and life do you wish you could create in the next 12 weeks? Um, well, in the next, I wish 
these are wish if, if it's a wish list. Um, uh, I wish I could run a less than two hour half marathon, have a flat stomach with abs, eating habits um, that would not be broken, and the ability to inspire others, including my wife. So basically the same things that are my, my kind of my, the, the essentially they're asking these questions because when you have like wishes and desires, you're supposed to kind of roll them into a formative like, okay, I will do, um, I will lose 20 pounds in the next 12 weeks. I will, you know, be able to do two miles in blumpity blump, you know, so that's essentially what they're getting at. Um, I did read it on past this question. So that's what they're getting at. They want your wishes to kind of be formulated into a, you know, solid goal. They, you know, and if you kind of go through and have set out goals that you're going to achieve and you just work toward those specific goals, you'll have more success because you'll be like, okay, well, in these 12 weeks, I did this, I did do this, and I will do this. So that's where I'm at. And I think that these five, you know, these five accomplishments that I did put here, are definitely doable. Um, I think I can do under 50 minute um, of, of five miles in under 50 minutes. I, I'm pretty sure I can get to that. Um, I just need to cut down the weight. I need to just be consistent and I need to do it. I know I can get under the 215 pounds in the 90 days. Um, I, I definitely would be flattening my stomach. Um, I should be able to get rid of these cravings. Uh, I just need to just make smarter decisions. And hopefully, by me doing that and accomplishing that, it will just turn into inspiration for myself and others. So, I've got that down. I'm good to go. The only other thing that I'm going to definitely do um, is I am going to, and I, when I get it together, I will draw it out. I'm going to draw out, I'm going to get one of those large uh, kind of desktop calendars or something and just draw out all of the days of the program. And I think they have it in here somewhere just to kind of give you an idea what it looks like. Uh, of course, I can't find it when I want to look for it. Uh, dee dee, sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so here's like kind of the the schedule, roughly, of what it should look like. It's so hard; I probably can't even read it. But like, so like, yeah, like I said, um, week one, day one would be upper body with weight training. Day two, twenty minutes of aerobic, um, aerobic exercise. Day three, lower body weight training. Day four aerobic training day five upper body weight training day six aerobic and then day seven you're off you don't have to necessarily work out you get your free food day you don't have to worry about food it's just do whatever you want day and then the following week you start with legs so you get two leg days in the week and one upper body day and you just kind of rotate that through the whole program and simple easy um and then you do these kind of pyramid stacks with your weightlifting, with your training you start with a lower weight and you, oh, actually, how do you do this? No, you start with your lower, yeah, you start with your lower weight, you stack up, so you're going to do less reps as you stack the higher weight. Then you do a set at your highest, at the higher weight, and then you drop it down to a lower weight, is, is what I remember doing. Um, I may be wrong. Once I get there, I'll let you know. Uh, so, and then they have the running, the, the aerobic exercise, as like you know, kind of a gradual intensity where you kind of just run moderately through the whole thing and then you just get to a high point at the end so you want to just pump you know push harder at the end of the exercising but um I kind of do that um with the aerobic part of it I'm just going to just continue to do my running um possibly get on the bike again and just just kind of do that and then like I said the pool with the at pool at the Y I will be trying to kind of incorporate that into the program. So that's where I'm at, and I can't believe I've rambled on for 20 minutes. Um, I hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, sorry this was so long, but I am just excited about getting this going. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.